Hello everyone! Thank you for watching this channel. As promised, without further delay, we will deliver the rest of our amazing dinosaur series. With no preamble, I would like to restart where we left off last time. Let's begin! Allosaurus The biggest threat not only to Stegosaurus and Camptosaurus, but also to other dinosaurs, was the famous Allosaurus. Weighing as much as 1.5 tons, the Allosaurus was one of the most fearsome carnivorous dinosaurs of all time, ambushing, attacking, and finishing off its opponents with a bite. If failing to ambush and catch up to the Camptosaurus, the Allosaurus sometimes found itself in a dilemma. Starve to death or attack the giant dinosaur, which boasted the strongest ironclad defense of the Jurassic period. Attacking a Stegosaurus from behind was nearly impossible, so the Allosaurus had no choice but to attack from the front. Attacks with the tail had to be avoided at all costs, because a single shot could have killed it. When these fights are mentioned in documentaries, they sound fictional because paleontologists have no way of knowing exactly what kind of dinosaurs were fighting. But this is what we really know. Amazingly, there is super valuable evidence that this did indeed happen. And that is despite the fact that 150 million years have passed. The fossils discovered in 2005 revealed much more. Some of the back plates of a stegosaurus were found partially missing and the bite marks exactly matched the jaws of an Allosaurus. Even more shocking were the vertebrae of the Allosaurus. There was a major injury there from the attack. The scar showed that the injury had been sustained from a Stegosaurus's Thagomizer. The attack was so severe that it punctured the vertebrae of the Allosaurus. But even more surprising than this was the fact that the injured bone showed signs of recovery. What is more amazing is that this Allosaurus survived. Drachorex This dinosaur resembles a real dragon, so it was given the name Drachorex, which is close to it. It really looks like a creature from a fantasy movie. Also, the Drachorex had a very small brain and was very stupid and dumb. Instead, it was covered with a thick skull that allowed it to deliver a strong headbutt to any opponent and still avoid concussions. Not a few dinosaurs had such thick skulls, and they were all classified as Pachycephalosauria. Some species had larger domes on their heads, while others had smaller domes. The role of this dome-like structure is still the subject of heated debate among paleontologists. It may have been created for a frontal attack on an enemy or simply to attract females. Parasaurolophus 75 million years ago, an unusual dinosaur walked the Earth, using clever methods to avoid being eaten by carnivorous dinosaurs. This dinosaur had the most complex internal structure in the prehistoric world. The one you are looking at now is Parasaurolophus. This was a herbivorous dinosaur that weighed many tons and had no conspicuous self-defense tools at all. Parasaurolophus had no fangs, armor, spines, or other tools of defense, so an encounter with a Tyrannosaurus would have virtually been suicide. But instead, they had a weapon, the distinctive top of the head. The brain of the Parasaurolophus was the largest of all herbivorous dinosaurs and the auditory cortex, the part of the brain responsible for hearing and sound reception, was extremely well-developed. Thanks to its acute sense of hearing, Parasaurolophus could hear a carnivorous dinosaur approaching from several kilometers away. More importantly, the interior of the crest on its head produced a characteristic sound, and this special tool allowed it to respond. The inside of the crest was a tube that extended from the nasal cavity and was folded back into a tubular organ that was 2.5 meters long. The sounds and vibrations emitted in the pharynx were amplified and lowered by passing through this passage, which was like a trombone tube. The result was a sound deeper than the foghorn and with a very low frequency of vibration. 
the placement of the tubes was different for each individual, so the sounds emitted were not one and the same, like fingerprints. Parasaurolophus was a social dinosaur, well aware that it could do nothing alone. Their ability to communicate complex messages was a great weapon in defending themselves. Their excellent hearing enabled them to spot predatory dinosaurs in the distance and alert the entire herd by sound. This strategy was even more effective because low-frequency, long-wavelength sounds could travel many kilometers farther than high-frequency sounds. But this sound was not only used for communication. Low-frequency sound can also serve as an offensive defense measure. If a hundred Parasaurolophus faced the same direction and made strong sounds all at once, they could use the sound waves to knock out the carnivorous dinosaurs or damage their brains. The question that arises is whether Parasaurolophus actually did this. Amargosaurus Another amazing dinosaur was Amargosaurus. Amargosaurus had two rows of protrusions on its back, suggesting that it had a pair of fins in the past. While only one row of protrusions would have been enough to stand out from other dinosaurs, this double row is what makes it special. Paleontologists have long debated what function these protrusions served. They may have served to make the body appear larger than it really was in order to intimidate carnivorous dinosaurs, but no one really knows. Nothronychus A hundred million years ago, another strange dinosaur, Nothronychus, roamed the region where the United States now stands. Nothronychus was a close relative of Tyrannosaurus, but it had a very interesting difference. It was a herbivorous dinosaur. But that did not mean that Nothronychus was easily defeated by carnivorous dinosaurs. The five-meter-long Nothronychus walked on short, stout legs. They had thick thighs, long necks, and very threatening claws on their hands, making them machines that killed any carnivorous dinosaurs that inadvertently came near them. The evolution to herbivorous dinosaurs made it easier for Nothronychus to obtain food. They were also able to bend branches and use their claws to get leaves, thanks to their bipedalism. However, while Nothronychus's claws were a great help, they had some unexpected consequences when it was attacked by more than one carnivorous dinosaur at a time. Nothronychus could not run, so they had to rely on power plays. Saurornithoides What you are looking at now is an area of the Gobi Desert 85 million years ago, and this is Saurornithoides. Fossils of a Saurornithoides in its burrow were discovered by researchers. But since having to eat something, the Saurornithoides was unable to keep an eye on the nest all the time. Thus, Saurornithoides sometimes left its nest unguarded to go hunting which sometimes led to nest attacks by nearby enemies who were after the eggs. But taking care of the nest was sometimes put on the bottom of the list for Saurornithoides. Gigantoraptor A real monster, the Gigantoraptor inhabited this land. One of the most unusual dinosaurs that once roamed the land, Gigantoraptor was 8 meters long and weighed 1.5 to 2 tons. It would be easier to understand if you imagine a chick to be as huge as a Tyrannosaurus. Feathers on the Gigantoraptor's forelimbs were either for display or to wrap the eggs when they hatched. Thus, Gigantoraptor, the largest of the feathered creatures found so far, took up to 80 days to hatch its eggs, just as birds do. For the Gigantoraptor, this time was a constant state of danger for both the egg and the parent keeping it warm. The smaller oviraptor was not such a nasty opponent for the gigantoraptor as it did not take the risk of approaching its nest when the owner was standing nearby. On occasion, they ran into larger carnivorous dinosaurs, such as Electrosaurus, who two gigantoraptors could drive away with no problem. However, numerical superiority did not always work in the gigantoraptor's favor. In that case, they had to go into battle but it was impossible to predict what the outcome would be. 
The instinct to protect and care for the nest with eggs was so effective that it is still widely found among birds today. But it was not always the carnivorous dinosaurs that posed a threat to the gigantoraptor and its nest. Nature sometimes made its power known. Some feathered dinosaurs have been found by researchers to have died in their nests. These dinosaurs were simply buried alive. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked today's video. Researchers are still working to uncover new details about creatures that lived millions of years ago. We hope that we will be able to continue to bring you more videos about amazing dinosaurs as topics come up to share with you in the future. Please keep this channel going. Farewell.